If you manage a Google Ads account with a lot of keywords and ad groups, bulk uploads are an easy way to manage changes to your campaigns. When managing your account with bulk uploads, you'll have the option to download a spreadsheet directly from a Google Ads account, or to use a template to manage your campaigns. This video provides some helpful tips to ensure that your spreadsheets are well formatted and ready to use with bulk uploads. When uploading your spreadsheet, make sure that you're using one of our supported formats. Your spreadsheet must have a file size of 50 MB or less and have 1 million rows or less. When you're adding URLs, remember that the full URL is always required. Keep in mind that if you're using a Google Ads report as your upload sheet, you don't have to delete extra columns and rows. Columns that you don't make changes to will be ignored. If you're using a template spreadsheet, there are detailed instructions in the header rows that will help guide you through the setup process. Deleting or clearing rows in your spreadsheet won't remove an extension. To remove an ad extension from a campaign, enter Remove in the Action column of that ad extension's row. Now let's look at a few ways you can use spreadsheets to manage your account. You can set up multiple types of extensions, including app extensions, call extensions, site link extensions, call-out extensions, structured snippet extensions, and image extensions. As an example, let's set up a call extension using a bulk upload template. Each extension has its own requirements, so make sure to review the requirements of your extension in the Google Ads Help Center. First, you'll need to fill out the basics. In column A, type Call Extension. In column B, type Add. Specify the level you want your extension to apply by filling in the Level column. If you want to add the extension to an ad group, then specify both the Campaign column and the ad group name in the Ad Group column. Add your phone number and your country code, along with any additional data you'd like to include. In addition to the required columns in your report, you can use bulk uploads to add or update other campaign settings, like start and end dates for your extension, scheduling preferences, and device preferences. And that's it! Your spreadsheet is complete and ready to upload to implement your call extension. Now let's take a look at audiences. You can assign audiences you've created to campaigns or ad groups. We recommend that you download an editable report for bulk upload from the Audiences page first. Supported audiences include detailed demographics, affinity, in-market, your data, similar audiences, and customer match. If you're targeting affinity or in-market audiences, you should make sure that you use the audience ID instead of the mm -hmm. audience name. If you have multiple audiences with the same name, make sure to add an audience ID column so you can tell them apart. Edit your bid adjustment for your audience types by adding a value to the bid adjustment column. When adding an audience for the first time, the smart default targeting setting will keep your current audience targeting settings. If you haven't chosen a setting, your targeting will default to observation for search and shopping campaigns and targeting for video and display campaigns. With these tips in mind, now you're ready to move on to uploading your spreadsheets to apply bulk changes. For more information, go to the Google Ads Help Center.